Hi. Hi. I'm Danielle. I'm Caitlin. And together we're our time of the month. And we are doing a sponsored hashtag sponsored video, which we very rarely do because we very rarely get sponsorships. So, and we're picky. We're, no, we are very discerning. Mm. One of my favorite uh, things about us. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to tell you all about the items that we were able to select from Skin Store. Yes, so we are gonna show you what we picked out. A lot of these gifts would be great for Mother's Day, for graduation, birthdays, any spring, summer gift giving opportunities you might have. And there will be a sale running at Skin Store and all of these items will be 25% off. They also do great sales sort of all year round, sprinkled around here and there. They're a great place to check back to see if your favorite products are on sale. Uh -huh. And I believe if you have added something to your cart yes. and you leave it in there, they will email you when it goes on sale. They do. They're like that thing that you looked at, it's on sale now. Which I think is genius. I do love it. Because that's exactly what we've buy, always asked for pretty much. Money. Just tell me when it's on sale now. Tell me when it's it. on sale. Yeah, so that's what we're doing for you. All of this stuff is on sale as is a lot of other stuff. Okay, I'm gonna start with these eye patches. I had tried these once before when Caitlin and I went to an event and then Caitlin started buying them pretty pretty frequently. I would say I've you I have purchased them at least five times yeah. and then usually multiple packs. So yeah. I've probably used upwards of ten. She is pairs. a regular patchology user, so I got the all eyes on you eye preventing trio. It has the rejuvenating eye gels, the illuminating eye gels, and the restoring night gels. You get two packs of each. They're all individually packaged in these little cute sachets. I actually used the illuminating ones this morning after my shower, mm. and I really do like the texture of these. They stay wet for a long period of time, and they're just always really comfortable and non-irritating to the eye. So I'm actually going away for Mother's Day weekend with my mother. That is big news, you guys. I know, it's a development. And I'm gonna bring these so we could do eye patches while we get our pedicures. That's a, so cute. Isn't that a fun idea? I love that. I do too. So I'm gonna stick on the Patchology train because I also picked up <laughs> multiple products from Patchology. The first one are also patches and they are the Breakout Box 3-in-1 Acne Treatment Kit. So I have tried salicylic acid patches before. I've gotten some off Amazon, mm -hmm. so I decided to give these a, a shot. I think they'll be great. So they have 24 of the salicylic dots, 24 whitehead absorbing hydro... Hydrocolloid? Hydro... Yeah. Colloid. Because I always want to say colloidal. Yeah, hydrocolloid hydro are my dots. jam. So they have 24, 24, and then they have three detoxifying charcoal nose strips, wow. which I love because I have not done a nose strip in so long, and I've actually been kind of like craving that feeling. I know. I, I want to see. when they were all the rage. Yes. Although I will say I don't have a ton of blackheads no. on my nose, so it's never as good. But what I will do is I will save them until I have, I'm with my most blackheady friends. Oh yeah. And it's nice because they have them each packaged in 12 and 12, so they won't dry out all and at once. And those are the nose strips. And then those are the nose strips. How adorable is that? Love that. And I will say, I don't love things that are individually wrapped most of the time. Yeah. But in this case, I do not use these. While I am a regular patch user, I would say that's still only twice. A couple months, a month, a month, maybe. Yeah. Maybe even like once. So if I um, don't have them individually wrapped, they will dry out. So 100%. this is, I think in this situation, it's better for me. So if you were curious as to what's on my eyes, yes, I'm wearing a collared liner. First time ever. And it's like neon pastel. I know. Who am I? Well, I'll tell you why I'm on this journey. It's because I saw on the Nude Sticks account, which you know I love Nude Sticks, the creator of Nude Sticks, her name is Taylor, and she's oftentimes a model for their new stuff oh. that's coming out. So Naturally. she'll show herself applying it herself so that you can see how easy it is. Um, and she, I started seeing all these really beautiful pastel blues and purples on their account, and I was like, I really want to make colored, like pastel 70s colors work for me this year. And I want to have fun with my eye makeup because I never do that. Brown. Brown, 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 all brown. Brown. And so they came out with this kit called the Heaven and Earth Kit. And it comes with this really cute pastel um, pouch, which to be completely honest, I probably really won't use. I'm going to, I'm going to give it to someone. But at least. Yes. The fabric is 100% post-recycled plastic bottles, which is really nice. And I think they were doing a promotion around Earth Day where if you bought something, 
they planted trees on your behalf or something, but Earth Day has passed, but I'm still really loving this kit. So in the kit, it did come with a cream blush in a shade that I don't have. It's called Bohemian Rose. Haven't even swatched it, but I was gonna do that for you today. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. I wish I would have worn it today, to be honest. It's like the perfect shade. It's kind yeah. of bubble, I mean, it's bubblegummy pink. It's beautiful. Yeah, oh, rosy, bubblegum pink. So it came with that. Actually, it looks like your nails. Oh, it does. You're so right. And then it also came with these two magnetic plush paints, which I think you can use in a variety of ways. You can use them on your eyes. I think you can even use them on your cheeks and lips. One is orange. So I'm really gonna have to try to figure out how to incorporate that into orange, the mix. Orange? Here, you try it. Yeah, I mean. And then the other is like this blushy color. This is called Love Cloud. And I'll swatch that as well. Orange. Orange. Oh, really interesting texture. And I didn't expect, based <gasps> on the cap, I didn't expect a doe foot applicator, but. I'm into this. <gasps> what? That's Did you really... touch it? It's not even the texture you think it is. Oh, it's really interesting. But I feel like that's like on there. Yeah. How fun is that? I actually would be really curious to actually use this as a blush. Try it, yeah. It's like apricot color. And then it came with two of the magnetic matte eye colors, which I have in other shades and I really like. Oh no, it came with three! I didn't bring the other one down! Okay. Olive. Weed. It came with the shade Weed, which is, ironically enough, kind of the color of dried weed. Cannabis. Olivey, an olivish tone. Yes, it's beautiful. Caitlin wore it while we were in New York last weekend. And I'm wearing two shades on my eye today, Oceana and Lilac Sky. The one that you're predominantly seeing is Oceana, which is like periwinkle. Mm -hmm. So gorgeous, so pigmented, so easy to work with. And then I do have a little bit of the Lilac Sky under my lower lash line. I can already tell that these are gonna be such favorites. I'm so excited to have the entire collection. I don't remember how much it was, but love. Yeah. Because I don't want an entire eyeshadow palette of unwearable colors. I want something that's like very controlled and in a small, <laughs> A small amount you know what I mean yes but like this is a wild palette but I love that very wearable and so beautiful and feminine and like I don't know maybe that's a trend this season because like a lot of dresses are like this a lot mm -hmm. of makeup is like this the other thing that I got from patchology was the kiss kiss lip perfecting duo it is the one lip service gloss to balm treatment and then one of the Flash Patch Hydrating Lip Gels. The event that Danielle mentioned earlier, we actually also tried the lip gels. And oh, while yeah. I don't know about efficacy, they're just fun. They are fun. I think we did it on a trip. Yeah, they're just like fun and funny and giggly. And you know, it says they have serum. serum. I mean, it's water, glycerin, the normal stuff, fruit extract, the aloe. Super smooth talker is what it's called. Yeah, I That's am excited name. for this. So it's a gloss. Is it a plumper? To balm. Oh, okay. I don't, that seems like reverse. Good. It's very thick, kind of sticky. It's very minty. Oh. Sweet mint though, so it might be okay. Oh my, wait. Like a, like a peppermint, like a candy cane. Like a candy cane, but also those mints, Star pillow mints. Starlight, oh yeah. Those pillow mints that you eat at restaurants. Yeah, so I mean, it's very, very thick. This is the kind of thing I feel like you put on at night and you wake up in the morning and it's still there. That's kind of nice though. Yeah, no, I'm excited because I think that if this could really lock in some moisture. Mm -hmm. You know, Kayla and I really love to watch beauty YouTube channels. We and do. in the beginning, the, one of the big conversation starters between us was we both loved to watch UK beauty vloggers. Predominantly. And Canadians. Uh, yes, and Canadians. And a lot of what they used was a brand called Illamasqua which I had really never heard of. And so I treated myself to my first Illamasqua products. This packaging, albeit beautiful, you know, it's a tad unnecessary for two items. But did you just? I love, it was a whole thing. It was, right. you know, fun experience. So this is called the Beyond Eye and Cheek Glow Set. And it came with this Beyond Powder in the shade OMG. And it kind oh of- it kind of reminds me of Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Couldn't mm, think of the mm -hmm. name. It's not glittery, but it does have a little bit more shimmer. Oh, what is it? You like did it and then you did like a very dramatic wrist. 
It does have a little bit more shimmer. You could dust this over your face, which we did last yes. weekend, and it's fine, but you could also kind of amp it up by packing it on in a more concentrated way. The texture is very, very smooth. It does remind me a lot of the ambient lighting powders. The packaging is pretty unique and different, and it's a little bit big, so maybe not travel friendly, but I did really enjoy it. And then it also came with the... <sighs> Then it also came with the Iconic Chrome Pigment Paint in OMG, and it's a pressed pigment. I'm very excited go ahead, about this. Go ahead. Really? Touch it. God, yeah, I've done it. <gasps> okay. I'm wearing wow. it in my inner corner today. Wow! Wow! Yes. Wow! It is. Wow! It makes you look. Look, Barkley had to come see. It makes you look wet. Camille, put it, I'll put it on your nose. It's such, again, interesting texture. I think this would be beautiful as a, like a foiled eyeshadow or lightly as a highlighter. I, I just see this as like Met Gala. It's wet in the pan. Like it feels wet in the pan, but the second it's on your skin, it's like nothing's there. Yeah. Wow. Can you see that? Like such a beautiful and flattering shade and tone and... Right. Great texture. I'm really into it. I love it so much. I can't wait to wear these this summer. Yeah. So I was actually going to refer to this as a makeup product, but I lied. Don't lie to them. Liar. Um, because it's not. It's sunscreen, which actually should be part of your makeup routine. <gasps> it's very important. This is the one I have. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. It is a 50 broad spectrum SPF sunscreen. It's chemical free, chemical free actives, 100% mineral, water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. So I will say, so there's two formulas for this. There is a glow formula and a clear formula. They sent the clear formula. Oh, okay. But it's just a very thin, lightweight sunscreen. Um, I love it. And I feel I feel like as I get older, I just am more and more aware of how important sunscreen is. So this one is actually slightly tinted. It, this doesn't say anything about it being the glow one, though. It's not. Because mine is. It's the bronze glow, and it definitely says it on there. Okay. So maybe it's just sheen. But anyway... Yeah. It's just a very thin formula. It actually doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. No. It's gonna go so well under makeup. I'm very excited. I think I talked about in a video recently that they, they discontinued mm -hmm. the sunscreen that I was really loving that was a spray and could go over my makeup. So this will be what's going on under my makeup for the rest of the summer. Oh, it's also reef safe. Which Yay! Is wonderful. We love the reefs. Yes, we do love a reef. The last thing I have that's a skincare product is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin 1-2-3 Step Daily Regimen with Prep and Finish Essentials. So it comes in this box. Um, it's like a whole freaking kit. It is. It is a whole freaking kit and it actually comes with more stuff than I anticipated. So it has the Glacial Face Wash, the Nordic Skin Peel, the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, and Berry Lip Fix. Have I will, you tried any of this? So I just put the lip fix on right oh. before we started filming, and it was delightful. Very thick, very, like, emollient, very moisturizing, kind of has, like, a vaseline -y texture, but not Vaseline, like, nicer than Vaseline. Mm. But, yeah, so a bunch of stuff in here. The only thing I've tried from Skin Iceland is the eye gels, and I really like them. So I actually was excited, I really was really excited to try the eye gels because I have heard about them but never tried them. Um, uh, you'll find it weird because one side is like cottony. Oh. It's like a fabric. Curious. It is curious. Um, so the Nordic Skin Peel, I believe is actually just like little pads. Yeah, they're little pads. <gasps> so as soon as I my lower face is it? less angry, I will definitely be trying this. Does it say what is in it that exfoliates? Like it's got to be some kind of chemical exfoliator, yeah, right? Yeah, I'll tell you. I'm it not. has witch hazel and lactic acid. Oh, you like a lactic I acid. I love a lactic acid. That yeah. sounds nice. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I haven't really ever tried any skin products, so that was m one of the reasons that I chose it. I love Mio bath and body products. I've tried a bunch. I've never been misdirected. They're all a, a dream. So I got two during this sale, and one is the Sun Drenched Body Wash. It's a gentle golden micellar cleanser, or micellar, if you 
want to say it that way. I have not tried this. I oh. haven't even looked at the texture, but this is the packaging. It feels quite, yeah. and it sounds quite watery. Yeah. I mean, my cellar to me sounds like Walter. Oh, that's a dream. It's a dream sickle. Lovely. But it's a dream sickle. But fresher, not fake orange. It smells like real orange. It smells like, like pith. Yeah. Like I just zested an orange. It really does. It says 97% of people agreed that it was gently cleansing and left your skin, left their skin feeling soft. It says it has andaroba oil, which I'd never heard of. Never before. heard of. Um, I'm very excited. They are, they're just a really cool brand and it says radiant. Like yeah. radiant finish, gentle golden I'm glow. I'm curious what that means. I'll have to report back. Probably on Instagram, which if you don't follow us there, it's at our time of the month. Go ahead and give us a follow. Yes. If you want real-time feedback about products that we're using, Instagram is where you're going to get it. Influenced by the woman sitting here to my right, I also picked up some Neo products and I picked up a two for one. So these were sold as a set, although they also sell them individually, so you don't have to commit. But like commit. 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 Danielle has bought this set before. That's why I knew I wanted it. It is the Mio Liquid Yoga Bath Soak mm. and the Mio Sleeping Smoothie Overnight Serum AHA Resurfer Resurfacing Body Cream. I she was doing and still like eye roll eye roll over the body serum, but Danielle said it was great, so I trust her. I don't have bumpy back of the arms anymore. I hand to God, I swear I don't. Well, I tend to have bumpy back of the thighs. Yeah. My arms are fine, but the back of my thighs. So I'm very curious to see if that helps. Um, the Mio Liquid Bath Soak, if you follow us on Instagram, I did actually use it last night. Solid glug. It was wonderful. It's amazing. I slept really hard. The last product that I have is another Mio product. It is their Golden Hour Body Moisturizer Instant Illuminating Body Lotion. This is kind of, it kind of goes hand in hand with the body wash. I have tried this though. Are you okay? Yeah, I just have them in my eye. 100% said that skin was left instantly looking glowy, yeah. which you know what? I'm wearing it right now. I absolutely love it. It has the same very natural, real orange creamsicle scent. Yes. And I, yeah, 100%. Like what, who, what else would, how could it not leave your skin glowy? It is not as glowy as say my Sol de Janeiro product, but that to me is messy. Like yes. I love it, but it's messy. And this, I feel like it's not going to transfer anything. It does have a little bit of like an orange shade, like skin tone shade for me. Um, but I think all skin tones can wear this because I've definitely seen like black women on their Instagram rubbing this in and it looks Beautiful, maybe even more beautiful in a darker skin tone. Well, I was gonna say, well, cause it's gonna set it yeah. off. Like it will be more impactful yes. on a deeper skin tone. But I do think, <sighs> like, I mean, it's got a similar, I mean, Fenty sells shades similar to this oh, within okay. their, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's that one where Rihanna squirts it on her shoulder and yes. then takes the bra. Here, wait, just put it on my shoulder and then everyone can see. Watch, <gasps> look at that. Yum. See how she just has a glow, but it's not like glitter. Right. And then like, so see, look, that's my other shoulder. Ew. That's the glowy. Look at it. It's not one of those lotions. Like I should that wash. smells so good. I should wash my hands because there's definitely like shimmery stuff here. However, I don't feel like I have to wash my hands. No. I just trust, just trust us. Right. Like I would always wash my hands over any of the other glowy shiny products that I have. Oh, I love Mio. Mio, will you notice us? Please. Please. <laughs> Please. I feel like I'm like constantly like batting my eyelashes at my crush and they're just not even looking at me. The last thing I have is another bath product. I was running out of bath salts and so I decided to go ahead and try something different which is Nip. Neep. 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 The Neep Pampering Mineral Bath Salt Set. So this is four different sachets of uh, salt for your bath. And I did use one last night. Did you use the whole thing? I did use the whole thing, which I don't think I needed to do. Their stuff is intense. It is intense. Which one did you use? I used the Arnica. Oh, were you having some sore muscles? Joint and muscle. I'm just always sore. My lower back is a hot mess. Um, so I went ahead, well, it was funny because it said add bath salt to bath water. I thought, how much salt? And then I thought, well, I guess they do want you to use the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it's in a, it's in an unsealable pouch, which to me just implies that they want you to dump the whole thing. Oh, it's made in Germany. Yeah. Can I smell it? Yeah. So this one, I did not know Ooh. was going to be straight up 
golden yellow yeah. once I dumped it into my bath, which of course, Arnica, of course I should like. I love two this. But I really liked it. It was intense. I did end up having to, I made my bath too hot, so I ended up having to drain a little bit of the water out, so it wasn't as intense as it should have been, which is fine. I did not need all of that in there because it was very fragrant. Um, but I really liked it. I had a great bath. Again, I slept like at a baby. Mm -hmm. um, it also comes with valerian and hops, lavender, which I know I'm gonna hate because I don't like lavender. And then eucalyptus, which I also don't really love, but we'll see. <laughs> it's fine. I will. You know, if it makes you feel better, you can power through the scent, I bet. Well, for me, it was like, once you're in the bath, yeah. you don't really smell it anymore. So I'm not super concerned. The lavender one I might end up smelling because I don't, I really don't like it. So it's one of those things where you like keep smelling it and it's very potent, but. So that's it. That's everything. I mean, thank you, Skin Store. Thank you, Skin Store. I am always so excited when they ask us to work with them because I genuinely, love everything I've tried. We were- And we get to pick it. We get to pick it, which is very exciting That's for huge. us. And we also, I mean, we were in New York over the weekend and I was still tracking this package every single day. So if you wanna gift yourself something, if you wanna gift someone else in your life something, again, check out our discount code. It's in the description box. We've also made three or four other skin store videos, so yeah. I can link those too. And like Caitlin said, they are always running good sales, good deals. I have found some really interesting brands that are predominantly based in Europe. I was gonna say that, like that, you're like the like fact that you can Neo, get Illamasqua. Illamasqua, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what else? West Lab, they make affordable bath salts that I really enjoy, and they're very fragranced. But I can't find them in America, so yeah, I I'd buy them. I buy them on Skin Store. I mean those colognes that I got <gasps> my last order from yeah. Dunhill. Wait, when we were in New York, you saw a freestanding Dunhill store. In the luxury floor. Of Hudson Yards, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't know, thank you. Thank you. I didn't realize I was so fancy. Caitlin's fancy. What are you wearing in your mouth? On my mouth, you know, I had to stick with the fanciness. I am wearing a Tom Ford lip strip. Wow, she's rich, bitch. I got it at a cosmetics company for $20. I was so excited to text Caitlin immediately. Mm -hmm. It is the shade Sable Smoke. I do not think that they currently make this. Wow. But I will find, I, they may have just renamed the color. I will find what it is because it's a dream and I. It's really inconsiderate of you. It is. I would, I would, I would judge someone who paid $56 for a lipstick, but $20? $20? What if you only did it once? What did you buy that was $56? No, I've never oh. done it. But like, what if I just did it one time? Treat yourself. Right, like just one time. It's your money, do what you want with and it. And it's like, I just want to know what the world has to offer. And truly, I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> and then I did top it with a little bit of Revlon, you know, to keep it humble over here, with uh, the gl super lustrous gloss shine and glossed up rose, because I did want to add a little bit of pinkiness to it to tie in with my dress and nails. Cool. Which are OPI shorts story. Shorts story. Shorts story, how about you? I am wearing mm. a recent purchase, which is, and it was also, I put it as my favorite lipstick, it is, I, it is the Pat McGrath, I don't know what the formula, Mini Matte Trance Lipstick in the shade Fembot, which I believe is 020. It's so comfortable. It's just a, it's, I was just about to say it's a life-changing formula, which seems a little dramatic. I did top it with a little bit of the Tower 28 gloss in Kashu. You're getting low. I was about to say, I have already used two thirds. 50, well, I'd say 50%. Okay. Maybe 55% 50 of this gloss. Percent. And I did not wear lip gloss since they caused my lips to fall off in the seventh grade. Yeah, Caitlin was anti lip gloss for a long so time. So anti lip gloss. I used a Lip Smackers lip gloss in the, like the seventh grade that made my lips have a horrible freak out and I continue to use it. And now you are just making up for lost time. Now I can't help it. I'm literally just like slapped it on. Comment, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. It's over there. Yes. Over there. Find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, find us on iTunes, find us on TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Um, and now we're going to go eat pot roast. Yes. So we love you. Thank you so much. You. We'll see you soon. And wait, no. Wait. Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch all the videos. All of them. We'll catch you next time and cut, cut it. it.